What if the most powerful telescope in history has just revealed something we were never meant to see? What if everything we thought we knew about time, space, and the origin of the universe is now unraveling under the weight of new, impossible evidence? The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to peer into the earliest light of the cosmos. But what it has found may be far beyond our understanding. So profound, so disturbing, that one Nobel Prize winning physicist broke his silence with a chilling warning. This is not our universe. What exactly did Webb see at the edge of everything? And why are scientists now questioning the very foundation of cosmology itself? In a quiet corner of the sky, nestled in the ancient light of the deep cosmos, Webb captured a simple yellow splotch. At first glance, it seemed unremarkable. But when astronomers zoomed in, everything changed. That tiny glowing blob wasn't just a galaxy, it was the most distant galaxy ever recorded. Formed just 290 million years after the supposed birth of the universe. But there's a problem. It's too massive. Too bright. Too evolved. By our current models, there simply wasn't enough time or matter in the early universe to form something like this. And it's not alone. Webb has now uncovered dozens more just like it. Each one a paradox. Each one shattering what we thought we knew about the early universe. And then, it got even stranger. Some of these ancient galaxies are doing something we've never seen before. They aren't just big, they're impossibly efficient. Most galaxies convert about 10% of their gas into stars. But Webb found at least three that have converted 100%. No gas. No dust. No raw material left. Just pure, blazing starlight. That's not just unusual. That's impossible. So now, a darker question emerges. What if these aren't galaxies at all? What if we're not seeing the early universe, but something else entirely? A fracture in the cosmos? A remnant of a previous universe? A structure bleeding in from another dimension? To understand why this discovery is shaking science to its core, we need to explore the concept of the Hubble sphere. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it moves away from us, due to the expansion of space. Eventually, there's a point where galaxies move away faster than the speed of light. By all logic, we should never see light from beyond that boundary. But we are. Webb is detecting light and signals from regions that should be permanently unreachable. Light that shouldn't be able to reach us is now arriving. And that leads to one inevitable conclusion. We are seeing beyond the edge of our universe. And no one knows what lies on the other side. This has led some scientists to question whether the universe ever had a beginning at all. If galaxies could form faster than the speed of physics, if light can arrive from beyond cosmic boundaries, and if impossible structures exist where no time should have passed, then maybe everything we believe about the Big Bang is wrong. Maybe what we're seeing isn't a linear timeline, but a breach. A place where universes touch. Or worse, where something older, something alien to us, is bleeding through. And Webb's discoveries didn't stop with visible light. While measuring the background hum of the cosmos, the telescope picked up a faint rhythmic pulse. It wasn't random. It wasn't noise. It was a repeating frequency, one that matched no known cosmic source. Not pulsars. Not gravitational waves. Not cosmic background radiation. It echoed at precise intervals. Some researchers have begun calling it the heartbeat beyond time. Others are more cautious, suggesting it might be a signature of exotic matter. Something that can only exist beyond our own universe. But the most unsettling part? The frequency follows a strict mathematical pattern. As if it was encoded. As if it was meant to be discovered. But by who? Meanwhile, gravitational data from Webb reveals something even more disturbing. At the edge of the observable universe, entire regions appear to be bending space and time, despite no visible matter being there. It's not dark matter. It's something else. A force with gravity but no substance. Like invisible fingerprints pressing into the fabric of reality. But fingerprints from what? 
Some physicists now believe we may be detecting the gravitational shadows of another universe. A mirror cosmos overlapping with our own. A reflection we cannot see, but that is affecting our world nonetheless. That brings us to one of the strangest, most controversial theories resurfacing again. One that was once dismissed as pure science fiction. What if there's a mirrored universe, where time flows backward? Where the laws of physics run in reverse relative to our own? Webb's data is revealing odd asymmetries, rotational patterns in distant galaxies that don't make sense. It's as if two separate systems are pulling at one another. One forward. And now, some of the world's leading cosmologists are daring to ask a question once thought unthinkable. Are we entangled with a shadow universe? Not metaphorically. Not as a poetic thought experiment. But physically, gravitationally, and perhaps even temporally intertwined with a hidden reality. One that exists just beyond the veil of our perception. Because the James Webb Space Telescope has just returned data that shouldn't exist. In a final, breathtaking twist, one of Webb's ultra-deep instruments was tracking a faint light signature, an ancient photon stream, traveling toward us from the extreme edge of the observable universe. The expectation was simple. As light journeys across billions of years, it fades, redshifts, and disappears into the cosmic background. This light did exactly that. Until it didn't. Moments, cosmically speaking, after it vanished, it reappeared. Not in the same location. Not on the same trajectory. And certainly not from the same cosmic epoch. But unmistakably, with the exact same spectral fingerprint. As if the light had been reflected back. Not bent, not scattered, but echoed. Like a voice returning across a canyon that shouldn't exist. There are only two possible explanations. And neither sits comfortably within our current understanding of the universe. 1. The light has wrapped itself around the curvature of a closed, finite universe. A cosmic boomerang that implies we are living inside a bound, spherical reality. That space itself loops, like a four-dimensional orb. Or 2. The light hit something. Something vast. Something cold and hard and utterly unexpected at the farthest reaches of space-time. A structure or boundary that reflects. A cosmic wall. A mirror. Something that, according to every theory we've ever built, has no business being there. Because the James Webb Space Telescope wasn't just built to see far. It was built to see back. To rewind the universe and catch the afterglow of creation itself. Instead, it may have opened a doorway to something far more disquieting. It may have pierced the illusion. An illusion that we live in a solitary, self-contained reality governed by predictable rules and familiar constants. But now? That illusion is cracking. The impossible galaxies, formed far too early, with too much mass, burning too brightly for their age. The phantom gravity, vast fields of unseen force, pressing on the fabric of space without a source. The encoded pulse, Regular, rhythmic oscillations repeating across billions of light years, following a pattern no natural system should produce. And now, the cosmic echo, light returning from a place beyond reason. Each anomaly is a fracture. A hairline crack in the mirror of our understanding. And through those cracks, something is looking back. Because maybe this isn't our universe after all. Maybe it never was. Perhaps we are adrift. Not in empty space, but on the shoreline of something much older. Much larger. A cosmic reef where realities collide, intersect, and bleed into one another. A deeper structure. A layered multiverse. A universe behind the universe. And this is only the beginning. What if we've misunderstood time? What if what we call the Big Bang was not a beginning, but a breach? A moment not of creation, but of contact. A collision between two unimaginable realities, their shockwaves still rippling through the fabric of our cosmos. Some now believe that what we've called, the early universe, may actually be the residue of something far more ancient. That we are not witnessing the formation of the first galaxies, but the remnants of a different order of reality. One whose rules are not ours. 
one whose structures are slipping through. There are even whispers, quiet, reluctant murmurs in scientific halls, that we are witnessing signs of a mirrored universe. A reality where time flows in the opposite direction. Where entropy reverses. Where every action we take here has an opposite, unseen reaction there. Webb's instruments have picked up rotational asymmetries in distant galaxies that make no sense in a single universe. It's as if two clocks are ticking, but not in sync. One moving forward. One ticking backward. Are we looking at gravitational interference from a parallel realm? Are we seeing the wake of a universe we cannot enter, but that is brushing up against ours, like two massive ships drifting in the dark, unaware of each other's course until their wakes collide? And then there's the pulse. The heartbeat beyond time. A faint oscillation embedded in the noise of the cosmos. Too perfect to be chaos. Too measured to be random. It follows a mathematical code. One that some say resembles an encryption sequence. If that's true, someone, or something, may have left it behind. A message. Or a warning. But for who? The deeper we look, the stranger things become. And the more it feels as if we are being drawn into a truth we were never meant to uncover. Because with every new discovery, the question grows louder. Not just whether we are alone in the universe, but whether we are even in the right one. So now, we ask you. What do you believe the James Webb Space Telescope has truly seen? Are we glimpsing another universe through cracks in our own? A ghost realm brushing up against ours? Or is reality itself beginning to peel apart, revealing the layers that were always there, just hidden? Subscribe, turn on notifications. Because this is not just astronomy. This is revelation. And the universe has just blinked. Something out there has seen us.